try not to get your gut hanging out of your shirt. <laughs> Got the bearded man down there. All right, as you can see, we are unscrewing the bolt out of the front of the harmonic balancer. There you go, big old long bolt right there. So that's all that's holding on that pulley. Now we're gonna have to get our uh, puller kit and get that set up and try to pull off that pulley. So going on to the next step. All right, we are about to pull off the harmonic balancer. Man, it was like just a tad from falling off. <laughs> Harmonic balancer off. And there's the crankshaft there. There's that crankshaft. We about to drill that bitch. Need a bang. You need a bang? You need a bang. All right, let me hit the uh, Coke machine here. Get a bang. All right, that little crankshaft right there. Mm, yep, it's about to get pinned drilled and screwed and hammered and yeah we're about to get on top of that thing all right guys so right now we are assembling the ati pulley supplied by torque storm and just a quick note the pulley does come with their own pulley to bolt onto the front of this but you're not going to use that as the torque storm supplied pulley will be bolted to the front of this when we get to that step um so all you're going to use is these two pieces here. You're going to discard the actual ATI belt pulley as you will not use that. You will use a Torque Storm pulley. The bolts they supply you already come with uh, a little bit of Loctite on them. But it never hurts. We're doing the John Cope method here. One drop of blue Loctite a or a glob. A little bit of a glob. But a uh, little bit of Loctite on top of their Loctite never hurts. And then we're going to tighten these down. And then we have to install this onto our crankshaft. And then once this is fully seated on the crankshaft, then we will be doing the uh, crank drilling process. So we just got to tighten these screws down and uh, moving right along. All right, guys, so we got the ATI pulley right here. And uh, how we start it is we get a big socket in there. And literally, as you see, we smack the holy bejesus out of it. And we try to get it on the crank as far as we can. And it's a slow process, but each hit, it goes down a little bit farther. All right, Mopar family, here we go. So this is the supplied tool to do the drilling into the crankshaft. This is their little adapter that they send you. And if you notice, one side is smooth. And then one side has this little stepped uh, ridge. Come on, camera. <clears throat> As you can see, that little step right there so this side with the step will go into the crankshaft so you will be looking at the smooth part when you do the drilling so we're going to put this we're going to put this adapter this tool in and then we're going to get the supplied bolt and we're going to tighten this down we're going to tighten it down really tight and then we are ready to start the drilling process our drill goes through these holes right here and this tool is what keeps everything lined up while you're drilling makes it really easy granted the drilling is a little hard because you're in a tight spot as uh buddy's down there in the hole <laughs> man in the hole and uh he's going to take this adapter he's going to set it in the crankshaft and then i'm going to get him the bolt and we're going to put the bolt in there and uh torque it down and get ready for the drilling now the other thing is the ati pulley has a keyed uh hub so you want to make sure when you put the, the, the drill adapter in, you want to make sure that you split the difference away from that keyway on the ATI pulley because obviously you don't want to drill into the keyway. So you want to make sure you're drilling into a smooth, flat surface. 
So just make sure you're away from the keyway on the ATI pulley when you do the drilling. Uh, so we're going to go on to the next step. I'm going to get him the bolt. We're going to tighten it down and uh, get ready for drilling. All right, guys, we are to the scary part that everyone's afraid of, but no reason to be afraid of it. So when you're drilling the crankshaft on these uh, Hemis, you can fit a regular drill in there, kind of. It's really hard. You really need one of these. This is a right angle drill. You can find many, many flavors and brands. This is a Cornwell Tools brand. It's a really good one. All right. Runs on your air compressor. And this guy right here is super, super duper cool. Now, you can pick up a cheap right angle drill from like Harbor Freight for probably under 100 bucks, probably around 40 50 dollars. And I'm sure it does just as well. Um, but a right angle drill makes this job much, much easier. And, uh, well, let's quit talking about it. Let's drill into an engine. There you go. One tool for you. I'm going to get some WD-40. And we are drilling. Look at all them flakes coming out, baby. Woo! All right, hang on a second. All right, guys, so we already got one hole in, and, man, it went like butter. It went like butter. Look at all the metal shavings. So we drilled the right hole first. Now we got to drill the left hole, and uh, we'll be home free. We got that hole, that first hole drilled in, like, what, five minutes? Less than that. Less than that. Like, two minutes. Now, I will say it did help having two people while he drilled. I was spraying WD-40 on the drill bit, and it was just going in like butter because it kept the heat off the drill bit. And, uh, yeah, that went really, really well. So we're about to do it again, guys. All right, hole number two. Let's let her rip. It's going in like butter, that's for sure. Alright guys, so we got our crankshaft drilled. I'm going to show you what our holes look like here in just a second. And sometimes getting this tool back out after you remove the bolt and do the drilling can be a pain in the ass so how i get it out and it's worked for me is i get a long extension and while this is still in the crankshaft i'll put this in here i'll pry down on the extension at a hard angle and just kind of waller it and pry it around and eventually it pops out and falls out and comes right out for me so if you get one that gets stuck that's kind of what I do. If you get an extension and just kind of waller it around, it'll pop out for you. But other than that, let's go check out our nice, awesome two holes we drilled out. There's uh, most of the shavings from the drilling, and they came out looking really, really good, guys. Like I said, a lot of people are scared of this part, but there's nothing to be scared of. The tools that Torque Storm supplies you with to do this makes it absolutely brain dead easy anybody can do this follow the instructions do what they tell you to do and what you end up with is that right here now we haven't put the pins in yet but we're going to show you real quick what our holes look like so i'm going to hand you down here to the guy under the truck unless i can get it to shine there uh, uh, actually, I got it. There you go. There you go. Two holes. 
and the crankshaft. Looking beautiful. Alright, so here is the crankshaft pins that we're about to put in the holes we just drilled in the crankshaft of Project Storm. And that's all there is. So we're going to slide these right into the holes and they should drop in like butter. So there you go guys. A lot of people are scared of that process of doing the supercharger installs where you have to pin the crankshaft. There's no reason to be scared. Um, like I said, Torque Storm supplies you with all the tools necessary to do the job correctly. And it goes by very, very easily if you do it the way they say to do it. Again, I just showed you it was super simple. The holes that we just drilled on uh, Project Storm went in phenomenal. Much easier than when I did it with Frostbite. But again, on Frostbite, I did it by myself. And I didn't have much help. Having two people, one guy running the drill and another guy spraying WD-40 or a lubricant on the bit made it go much, much easier. The bit went right into the crankshaft and it drilled those holes out super quick. I was actually floored how quick the drilling process went on Project Storm compared to Frostbite when I did it. And uh, hey, I'm not complaining. I like easy and that was easy right there. But other than that, don't be afraid. Super simple. So, hell yeah, go out there and work on something. Let's go.